week 14 of the fantasy football season. And this is a big week here where a lot of teams are on the brink of making the playoffs and not, but here's a few defense DST units. I look to get this week the first one, the Las Vegas Raiders. So the Raiders defense actually had a good ball game in week 13 versus the Chargers, getting the victory as well. 14 points allowed, five sacks, a fumble recovery in that one. So right now, like one week use only type of defense. I know their defense the whole season for the most part is getting shredded, but week 14, a great matchup at the Rams here. Well, they're gonna go with John Walford or Bryce Perkins, a quarterback on a short week on Thursday Night Football. So the Rams give up the second most fantasy points in defenses. And like I said, the Raiders, they got some guys that could get the quarterback once in a while. So the last few games for the Raiders, week 11 at Denver, 16 points allowed, three sacks a block kick. Week 12 at Seattle, 34 points allowed, three sacks and then throw in a fumble recovery. So right here, week 14, good matchup at the Rams, indoor game, Thursday Night Football. And I think the Raiders could be a decent option this week here. And they're available right now in 89% of fantasy weeks. The next DST is the Tennessee Titans. So the Titans, I know they got the doors blown off at a monster Philadelphia Eagle offense and team that's 10-1 on the season. But for the most part, this defense has been stopped for the most part of the season here. Week 10 versus Denver, 10 points allowed, 6 sacks and interception. Week 11 at Green Bay, 17 points allowed a sack and a block kick. Week 12 versus Cincinnati, it was a down game. 20 points allowed, only a sack. And week 13 at Philly, 35 points allowed and two sacks. But right here, week 14, a good matchup here for Tennessee versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the Jaguars, they're good at home, but on the road, their offense is totally different and they're more turnover prone and they give up a decent amount of sacks. So right here, I think this Tennessee defense could do a few things in this game. And especially if they're getting embarrassed at Philly and coming home now, with a good matchup versus Jacksonville. I think the Titans are a decent ad this week here, and they're available right now in 69% of fantasy weeks. The next DST is the Arizona Cardinals. So the Cardinals, another defense that have is a one-week hit here for fantasy owners that are in a pinch and just stream defenses like I do in a couple weeks, weeks on and weeks off. So the last few games here for Arizona, like I said, they haven't stopped anyone. And at the Rams, 17 points allowed, three sacks, and into a fumble recovery. Week 11 versus the nine is 38 points allowed. And week 12 versus the Chargers, 25 points allowed and four sacks. And coming off the bye week, maybe they could be refreshed. It's a home game versus the Patriots that obviously their offense has trouble moving the football more times than not this season here and give up the 10th most fantasy points. The defense is on the season. So the Cardinals right now out there, 91% of leagues and possibly worth an ad this week. The next defense is the Cincinnati Bengals. So the Bengals, with another victory over Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. And the defense, I thought, did a decent part and made stops when they needed it. So week 13 versus the Chiefs, 24 points allowed, two sacks and a fumble recovery. But I'm here to talk about the good matchup they have here in week 14 versus the Cleveland Browns. They give up the 14th most fantasy points to defenses on the season. And Deshaun Watson, he didn't look in sync. He looked rusty for sure in his first game in pretty much two seasons here for the Cleveland Brown team. And it's going to take some time for Watson to get his footing on the room and him to be back to the player he was if he could even reach that level. But anyway, Cincinnati right now, they're the one 75% of fantasy leagues here. And I think they could do some damage versus Deshaun Watson and that offense is a one-week use only. And the fifth and final defense I looked at on the wire this week here is the Minnesota Vikings. So the Vikings here, I know the defense hasn't been great, but versus the New York Jets, they made some plays. 22 points allowed, sacked two interceptions in that one. So right now they got a great matchup coming up in week 14 on paper at Detroit. That gives up the eighth most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So right here, it's been up and down for the Vikings this season on the defensive end week nine at washington 17 points allowed three sacks and in throw week 10 at buffalo 30 points allowed two sacks two windows a touchdown and two fumble recoveries then week 11 versus dallas they got destroyed 40 points allowed week 12 versus new england 26 points allowed three sacks a return touchdown a week 13 versus the jets 22 points allowed a sack and two windows so right here good matchup versus detroit this defense, I know they have some playmakers and pass rushes, especially in that secondary with Smith and Patrick Peterson. And we'll see if they can make some plays on golf this week. And the Lions, so that's a few defense DST units I look to add on the waiver wire here for week 14 of the fantasy football season.